I have to say, I haven't ridden these tyres for well, about a year now. Over a year, well, not quite a year, but um, they're Schwab Almighty's 26 by 4.8. And I've done uh, reviews on them before, and I've, I've got uh, I think the video is called The Grippiest Tyre, or The Grippiest Tyre in the World. And I have to agree, <laughs> even though I reviewed it before. I've ridden lots of tyres over the last 12 months backwards and forwards between different tyres and different bikes and the Schwab Almighty is the grippiest tyre you will ever put on a bike um, it's a shame they don't do a 4 inch version because then it would fit lots of other fat bikes but 4.8 is fast rolling it's a very strange feeling when you pedal on tarmac each revolution you feel like you're springing forward now I don't know whether it's the nobles when they as you drive into the ground you sort of bend them back and then they flex back again but you feel like you're being pushed forward each pedal stroke it's a really strange feeling but they're very fast rolling for a great big knobbly tire you wouldn't think it you know they're big knobbles and there's a lot of them but it's fast rolling tire they're heavy they're nearly two kilos each so i've, I've, I've strapped an extra 100 100 grams to it or strapped another kilo to my bike compared with how it was when it was in australia but so this is the bike I took to Australia, just got back. But um, yeah, I love it. This is the bow tie titanium fat bike that I make. It's an extra large. And uh, I've ridden, I've got another bike which I built, which is called Herbie, which you may have seen, which is a 29er, traditional 29er mountain bike, hardtail mountain bike, very fast, very light, weighs 10 kilos. And out of the two, I'd rather ride this. Uh, it is heavier, but it's far grippier, far more fun. You can go anywhere with it. Um, I've got 80 mil forks. I've shrunk them right down. Uh, and it's quite nice because the steering's that little bit quicker. You haven't got, you know, it's not as downhill specific, but it's great for just popping around the woods and dropping down anything really. But um, yeah, so that's the bike I'm riding today. I'm up in Cranham Woods, and you can see the winter. The leaves are starting to turn and. Uh, undergrowth is disappearing so the woods are opening up again i quite like the seasons i like the winter because all the undergrowth drops down and you can see through the woods and you get to see more and see more trails the stingers have gone and um yeah it's been quite a quick seems to be no time at all since the bluebells were popping up but um it's all gone now yeah trails are not bad actually considering the rain we've had they're pretty dry I guess the grain was quite dry to start with, so it's just absorbed it all. But uh, yeah, myself, yeah, back from Australia, feeling quite fit actually. Not bad at all. Got a problem with my knees. I think that's just age related. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, both my knees hurt quite a lot these days. I'm just going to keep going, keep pedaling on. And uh, yeah. Out today, I was going to do a long ride today, but I, I'll be honest with you, I just, we walked the dog this morning uh, for quite a long time, got back about half eleven now, I was thinking it's a bit late in the day now, so I had some dinner and then was going to sit there and watch some mountain biking on the, on the TV and then I thought, no, come on, get out, and I'm glad I did now, you often get that feeling where you just don't want to go out, and I'm glad I did, so um, yeah, I wouldn't be here experiencing this if I just sat in front of the TV. It is a Sunday. It's Sunday. It's October tomorrow, I think. End of September today. I think it's first of October tomorrow. And uh, I've got a. Um, as you may have known, I mentioned it quite a lot. I'm running an event called the Surly 100, and I've got to ride the route. I was planning to do that today, but it's just really windy, and I'm just not up for it. So um, I'm going to try and ride it this week. We're supposed to be doing a pre-ride with the sponsors and some media and the rest of it. So um, I had to put that off because I changed the route and I haven't ridden the route. So I don't know what it's like. I need to, I'd rather ride it first just to make sure it's okay before we um, pre-ride it. So that'll be happening soon. Yeah, so lots of stuff going on. And um, yeah, that's about it really. I've done a few little videos. I've just done a little review, well not a review, I'm doing my done some comments on I'm filming this on my phone my GoPro's at home with a flat battery I'm going to put a little video out about my thoughts on action cameras because I've 
I've had a few now and I purchased one in Australia which I've since sent back and I'll, I'll, I'll put a you'll see the video I'll put a link to it below as to why I sent it back and what's happening and um, just my thoughts on, generally on um, action cameras if you're into that sort of thing if you're not then it's for no, it's of no interest at all right okay I am going to bimble on a few more miles I don't think it's going to be a massive ride about 10 or 12 miles today so but it's just nice to get out in the woods right catching a bit Thank you.